and Toastmaster. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you prepare for an evaluation contest in advance of the actual speech? It's virtually impossible. And that's the dilemma I faced as I drove over here to Bakersfield. Until this morning, when our keynote speaker, Janice, started talking about evaluating, I figured, great, this is an opportunity to learn her magic formula. And here it is, Jana, an accredited speaker, a past international president, definitely a distinguished Toastmaster. Her magic formula was, don't tell the speaker they gave a bad speech. <laughs> Fortunately, Antonia, I have a backup plan for today. <laughs> We're going to evaluate Antonia based on an acronym DOA. That doesn't stand for dead on arrival. We are a positive learning environment. <laughs> this is delivery organization and appeal. Now, Antonia's delivery, she did something, she, she probably doesn't understand this just yet, but she did something as the most powerful engager of an audience. She used her smile. A smile is the best way to engage an audience. Regarding her body language, she had a challenge that women have, men don't have this much, she'll kick to one side. What I'd like you to consider, Antonia, is, is use that energy up through both feet when you watch Kathy Chode up here. Never kicks to one side, nice, powerful energy in that sense. Uh, resting home for your hands here, try at your sides. Other than that, the gestures were fantastic. What I especially enjoyed about the, uh, th this portion of it was how she spoke to both sides of the room. I felt included the entire time in her delivery as part of that speech. Organization. Antonia did something brilliant. She started out with a personal story about her grandpa. She then went into, you know, now she has me feeling bad about her grandpa because he didn't understand sa saute. But then she went talking about technology and I started feeling bad for Dan. <laughs> because I didn't understand some of the things she was explaining in that. So I, I truly understood that juxtaposition of the difference of change for all of us, not just her grandpa. Excellent structure in that organization, especially since she wrapped it up at the end by bringing her grandpa back into the story. And a quote from Darwin that brought it back to the title of her speech. That's a nice package right there. And the only thing I would add to that is, as a member of the audience, I like a clear path of where it's going. Tell me right in advance. We are going down this path. I'm going to tell you about why change is important, why you need to understand. Tell me exactly where we're going. A nice roadmap at the beginning of a beautiful organization. What was the appeal here? What was the appeal that Tony had? Well, uh, number one, I found an education. And I looked around at the other audience members. They're going, wow, I didn't know that. Or nodding their heads like they, okay, it was a reminder of that. So there was an education for me in, in that appeal. Also, the other portion of her appeal was, was her, cons her conversational manner. Rather than speaking at me as a member of the audience, I felt like she was talking to me. A nice conversational style that worked better. <coughs> now this morning, Jenna told us that most Toastmasters, joint Toastmasters, become comfortable in front of an audience and stay to become excellent. Well, Jenna, you have proved today that you, I'm sorry, Antonio, you have proved today that you are comfortable in front of an audience. Stick with it to become excellent at Toastmasters.